What's going on 3D printers? Today I'm going to show you how I made this kick-ass Leatherface Joker mask in flexible resin on my Form 2. Let's go. Okay, so here we're at Thingiverse.com. I just did a random search for Joker models. This was the best one that I saw by Berman Designs. So I'm just going to use this as a base model, uh, more of a reference. So I go into ZBrush here. I have a 3D scan of my bust from my friend Scott Vader's Lynx 3D scanner. Um, detail on it isn't that great, but I'm basically just use this model when I'm making my masks so that I can, you know, set it up and proportion it to my face. I got a big nose, so yeah, got to make sure it's not an uncomfortable mask when I'm making these things. But here I'm just, uh, you can see I cut out the eyes, I cut out the teeth, I just warped the face all over the place, uh, put a big smile on there, and um, you know, I, I, I don't like ripping people's models off, so I use Singiverse, uh, usually totally transform the original model and make it my own. I just didn't really feel like taking a few hours to create all this from scratch. So got rid of the most of the detail and then just put my own detail in here. Um, smoothing it out. I think I got this at like a thousand percent speed. So right now I'm just using a procedural brush honestly I don't remember which one this is there's there's tons of brushes in ZBrush uh, it's hard to keep track but uh, it's great great tool you know if you want to make uh, scars or shoelaces or you know what I'm doing here this is like some some kind of barbed wire I'm making you know it's just pulling the, the skin in certain areas then I'm adding just some pores to the skin. Again, I'm not I'm not making ZBrush tutorials. Uh, there's a lot more skilled people that have tutorials out there. I'm just showing you the process and you know what I use to to make this model. I'll put a couple boxes there, uh, a couple of rings around them. I was going to try to use real leather and rivet it to the mask and I just ran out of time and I figured you know what the hell um, this looks pretty good here I'll just hand paint it so here's a comparison of the model I downloaded with the one I finished with and as you can see they're totally different bringing it into preform which is form lab software um, barely barely wide enough to fit this thing at the proper size I mean I knew I was printing this in flexible resin so if it didn't fit my face and was a little bit too small I knew there would be some leeway as I'd be able to bend it um, but I think if I did print this out in solid it would have been totally fine so I think total printing hours for this one on medium resolution was about 19 hours all right guys so I didn't do a step-by-step -step video of me painting this thing um, always doing things last minute so I had to get this thing printed painted within like a day and I just didn't have time so here we go so this is the inside you can see the supports. I didn't fully sand these down because I was doing this at about 2 in the morning. So I knew it wasn't going to touch my face. You know, it's not a big deal. You can see where some of the primer came off, where I was sweaty and oily on Halloween. But 
not a big deal the front came out beautiful and I mean this this material is just amazing look at the way this flexes you know I could have made this in a different material and it probably still would have fit on my head all right but there's really nothing like this flexible material for this kind of mask yeah it's amazing then to strap this thing in my face I just had a big piece of rubber from a slingshot strapped it on there taped it with some vinyl <laughs> I said this was pretty last minute so I had a green one and figured I would use it but you know I didn't have time to get fancy and put real leather on there and put rivets so it did its job though came out good Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know how I can improve the channel in the comments below. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you want to check out some kick-ass photos of all my projects, follow me on Instagram. If you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis, I'm also on Snapchat, Magic 3 d Prince. I'm out of here. I think I gotta get a haircut. Peace.